Hello everyone. Welcome to this I get it webinar session. Here we are going to talk about SolidWorks 2024 sheet metal updates. So I am Manjunath Goshanti, subject matter expert in SolidWorks in I get it by Tata Technologies. Let's go ahead and talk about what we will see in this session. In this session, we are going to talk about SOLIDWORKS 2024 sheet metal updates. So, we will start with stamp tool, then what is normal cut in tab and slot, and finally, we will end up the session with slot propagation. In stamp tool, we will explore how the stamp tool in SOLIDWORKS simplifies the process of creating forming tools for sheet metal parts by enabling sketch based parametric designs. We learn how this approach reduces the time and effort required to define the sketches and features compared to earlier methods also we will discover the increased flexibility offered by sketch based forming tools allowing users to experiment with various designs and parameters directly within the sketch environment we understand how this flexibility facilitates quicker iteration and refinement of forming tool designs to meet specific project requirements also, we learn how the stamp tool enables faster and more efficient application of forming tool to sheet metal parts. In this normal cut in tab and slot, we will learn how to enhance our design precision in SOLIDWORKS by utilizing the tab and slot tools normal cut feature. This allows us to specify that slot is perpendicular to the sheet, ensuring impeccable alignment crucial for manufacturing processes also we will learn we will explore the intuitive workflow of applying the normal cut feature within the tab and slot property manager by selecting the normal cut under the slot section we can effortlessly ensure that slots are precisely oriented optimizing our manufacturing process for enhanced efficiency and accuracy In propagating slot update, we will explore the time saving capability of propagating slots for tab features in SOLIDWORKS assembly components. Also, we will learn how to streamline our design process by extending the slots to the other instances of the same component within the assembly. This enhances the consistency and efficiency in our project workflow. Also, we will gain some insights into the seamless integration of slot propagation with pattern and mirror functions in SOLIDWORKS. We will learn how, how to select propagate slots in the property manager when patterning or mirroring components with tabs by enabling automatic application of slots to the intersecting components within the assembly. Further, we will streamlining our design process and enhancing productivity. Start by opening a sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS which will serve as the base for applying the stamping feature. To access the stamp tool, just go to insert sheet metal and stamp. Okay. After selecting this, selecting this stamp tool, you need to sketch a closed profile directly on the sheet metal part. This sketch defines the shape of stamping you want to apply. You can set a specific parameters. So in sketch toolbar, I have selected the center rectangle and sketched on the sheet metal part. Click OK and uh, start the dimension. And I gave 1.5 1 as height. Just click OK. and exit the stamp property manager you can adjust the following parameters depth specify the stamps depth from either the top or bottom of the sheet metal face so just give the dimensions which you which you want and you just click on toggle this option to reverse the direction of the stamp so 
in draft angle set the desired taper angle to be applied to the side faces of the stamping feature if you have specified radii within your sketch before creating the stamp these sketch radii will be prioritized when creating the stamp you can further define the die radius also punch radius so just give 0.1 inch in die radius and 0.1 inch in punch radius also you can toggle the punch side corner radius and specify the dimension once you have you have configured the stamp parameters in the property manager just click ok button to execute the stamping operation the stamping feature will be applied to the sheet metal part based on the parameters you specified in the sketch start by opening the sheet metal part in solidworks which will serve as the base for applying the tab and slot feature so go to sheet metal toolbar and select tab and slot so you will pop up with tab and slot property manager there you can select the tab edge and in the next you you need to select the slot face so so you will pop up with slots so also we can activate the offset and you can give the length if at all you want to add the offset also you can turn it off so by default equal spacing is activated you can change that to default like a custom length also as per your requirement so i'm changing it back to equal spacing and i'm giving five slots also you can give the tab length you can change that also and tab height i'm here selecting the blind also you can change the edge type also there are total three types you can select any one as per the your project requirement also here first i'll show without normal cut i'm just clicking ok so here you can see that it's very difficult to manufacture so in order to avoid this just click the edit and select the normal cut feature and see we we can notice the changes here so it is easy to manufacture so just save the part and close in solidworks 24 the slot propagation command is a game changer for industrial design and manufacturing it swiftly replicates features like slots along designated paths and guaranteeing consistency and precision in every part this functionality proves invaluable in sheet metal fabrication structural design and mold creation with its seamless adjustment of dimensions and parameters it it increases productivity and efficiency across industrial workflows select the stand one part because that is where our uh, tabs is going to create so i'm selecting that part for my tabs in sheet material toolbar go and select tab and slot so you pop up with tab and slot property manager in tab edge select the edge and in slot face select the top face of the part and you will notice slots also just scroll down and uh, you can check offset 
or else you just deselect if at all you don't want also in spacing you can change to custom length also or else you just go back to go back and select equal spacing also and in tabs section you can give the length also as per your requirement also you can select the height up to surface and in edge type select the any one of the edge type you can check or uncheck the no through cut or normal cut select the corner type for the slot and solidworks intelligence automatically detect the slots and this command allows us to propagate a slot feature along a path making it especially useful for creating repetitive features such as slots in sheet metal parts extrusions or structural members or even patterns on molds so just click and click ok so you will notice tab and slot created on other side of the part also thank you all for joining us today and participating in this insightful webinar before we wrap up i would like to take a moment to introduce you an invaluable resource for enhancing your engineering skills and staying updated with the latest industrial trends at myagate.com we understand the importance of continuous learning and professional development in the field of engineering whether you are a student a working professional or an industry expert myagate.com offers a wide range of online courses tutorials and resources tailored to meet your specific learning needs from cad to cam cae gd and t ev courses covers a comprehensive array of engineering disciplines providing a hands on training and certifications with the industry leading experts as instructors and interactive learning modules i get it ensures that you acquire skills and knowledge required to excel in your career moreover i get it user friendly platform allows you to learn at your own pace anytime anywhere making it convenient for your busy professionals like yourselves to access high quality engineering education whenever it suits you best so whether you are looking to enhance your existing skills explore new technologies or stay ahead of the curve in your industry myigetit.com is your go to destination for all the things in engineering i encourage each and every one of you to visit igetit.com today and take take the first step towards unlocking your full potential as an engineer sign up now and embark on journey of continuous learning and professional growth with igetit.com thank you again for your participation and we look forward to seeing you on igetit.com soon have a great day